lovelies, it's been a long time since I've done a what's in my bag video and quite a few of you have asked me to do it. This is my current bag at the moment from Topshop. They don't have it anymore online but they have something similar that I can link for you. It fits so much in and it's slouchy so it goes with pretty much all my kind of casual outfits and it fits so much in so I can't complain. Today I've just got back from town, I ran some errands, I got some food shopping, I did a little bit of clothing shopping, actually I can do a little mini haul for you with the clothes that I bought, um, I've already put my food shopping away though, and I also went to Starbucks to do a little bit of editing just to get out of the house, so first thing first is my laptop charger and I can never be bothered to wind it up properly so this is my laptop charger I have a MacBook Pro the smallest one you get because I didn't want to pay more just for a slightly bigger screen I got some bits from Gap I shall show you those in a sec but I'll go through all the other stuff first so I have my purse which is now a slightly grubby I don't know what I got on this part of my purse and it has all my cards and that in and then I have a little picture of me and Doug I took this with my mini Polaroid camera I didn't know where to put it so I thought I'd pop it in here and then I just have things like my national insurance card my boots advantage card which I've had since I was 13 and it's going yellow got my body shop card I've got my Tesco club card and my nectar card got my gas top up card with British gas because for some reason my flat is still that old school that I have to go and top up my gas with a card and then I've got my NatWest 16 um, to 25 rail card got my Starbucks card my subway card a voucher for this really expensive steak restaurant that I'm yet to go to my Holland and Barrett card and last but not least my super drug card but I don't really go there that often and then I've got a few receipts of proof of packaging for my Depop parcels that I've been sending off recently and a little Topshop voucher with like eight pounds on and then I've got my library card next thing is my umbrella which is from Topshop again <laughs> and it's just this purple and blue polka dot one and then in this little pouch here I have my headphones from friends I know I've mentioned these loads recently but these are my headphones at the moment and I listen to music every single day so I've always got them on me and so they're just the rose gold white Layla's and then I have my Ultra Balm from Lush I love this this is always in my bag so even if I forget to put lip balm in my bag I know I've always got this this is really good just as lip balm it's also an all-purpose balm so if you get any chafage any dry areas dry hands knuckles especially because it's winter any soreness any burns or cuts or maybe don't put it on cuts or just irritated skin um, you can just pop this on and I love this because it's just got three ingredients it's simple and this is going to last me ages it just looks like that it pretty much looks like Vaseline so you can imagine how long it's going to last it doesn't smell bad at all and this is even just amazing as a lip balm so I've always got this in my bag and I love that it's in a little tin another receipt for proof of postage I have a jelly high shine nail paint by Barry M in the colour I think this might be coconut it's rubbed off the bottom maybe it's almond coconut or almond I'm not too sure I can't remember why I had that in my bag I think I was painting my nails at work and then I've got my MAC compact powder in I think it's NW20 or NW25 I'm not sure but it's basically too dark for my skin but the lady at MAC insisted that this was my skin colour but it's not um, I've just had this for a couple of years and I just use this as a little mirror to travel around with and I just use powder just to top up any areas but I don't use it all over my face I have a little sensitive hand gel antibacterial hand gel thing and I have my house keys perfume which is being discontinued from Lush and um, there was just a massive box of them in the staff room that we were allowed to sort of just take as we wanted and this is furs furs or something it's quite nice I always just sort of whack it on when I forget to put perfume on kind of like spicy vanilla-y on here it says it's got neroli oil mimosa and other stuff that I'm not too sure but it smells really vanilla and then I've got a body shop spray which I wore all summer I love this I actually have two of these and I don't really wear this too much at, this, at the moment because it is quite a summery scent but I have actually got it on today and it's the Fijian Water Lotus out of all the perfumes and body sprays I've ever used this is the one that I've always been complimented on yeah I recommend it and then I've got a body shop vitamin E lip care SPF 15 little lip balm uh, what else oh my beanie this lives in my bag this is from Topshop <laughs> everything in here is from Topshop apart from the stuff that I want to show you and I like how lightweight this is and it just doesn't take up any room at all you don't even notice it's in your bag and I keep this in my bag because one if it starts raining I can kind of put this 
on my head and hope that the rain doesn't get to as much of my hair as it would without a hat so it doesn't go frizzy. When I like walk, even in the summer and it's warm, for some reason the breeze when I'm walking gives me a really bad earache and then it gives me a really really bad headache. I just don't ask why, I've just, there's something not quite right with me um, but I get the worst ear pain ever. Please tell me I'm not the only one this happens to. So yeah it's really good to like cover my ears up when I'm going on sort of slightly longer walks. But now it's winter it's really good to just have if it's slightly cold or it is really windy and I can kind of keep my hair down so that's always in my bag. Next thing I have is my passport because it's the only form of ID that I have. I don't even have a provisional driving license until I need to, I'm not going to because it's expensive. Yeah I have my passport. I lost it once when I was 18 in a nightclub but since then it's never going to happen again. Luckily they found it, this is the same one that I lost. Um, someone, and I'm going to say this not very proudly, um, I used to go to the same club in my town almost twice a week. Um, so the bouncers knew me and so when someone tried to use this as ID, they knew that it wasn't theirs and that it was mine. So luckily, a week before my holiday, it got handed into the police station. Um, what other stuff do I have in the back pocket? Oh my word, I did not realise how much makeup that I don't even use is in this bag. Right, I have another lip balm, which is the Burt's Bees one, and this is the Vitamin E and Peppermint. Love it. Love Burt's Bees lip balms. I have the Soap and Glory lipstick that I wore on my previous outfit of the day video in Pom Pom. Lovely colour. I have another lipstick because I wore this at work a couple of days ago and it is one of my all-time favourite ones. If you've been watching me for years, then this will probably be quite nostalgic to you. This is like old school Rhiannon. This is number seven, Grace. This is like my go-to dark colour. It looks slightly lighter on camera. Um, it is actually a little bit darker and this is probably like my third or fourth one. If you go and buy it online don't be um, confused by the swatches because last time I looked on boots the swatch for grace was like a bright pink and this isn't bright pink oh I have a hairband and a bit of chewing gum wrapper my floor is looking lovely and messy now more random wrappers <laughs> that's everything in my bag and of course I had my phone as well my phone is from caseable for those who are always asking I really like caseable their cases last a long time and they do cases for five C's because I have a 5C and it's so hard to find a case for 5Cs. Found one with bunny rabbits on the other day and I love bunny rabbits and the bunny rabbits were dressed like really 60s and kind of like the way I like to dress and I really wanted it and didn't have it in a 5C case so on to the little mini haul that I want to do. So I popped into Gap. Story of my life. Okay, I went in to buy one thing. I ended up with three things. Now, I've been wearing a lot of just plain white, quite tight t-shirts underneath other jumpers and t-shirts recently. One, because it is getting colder, but two, I find that so many things are made to go with high-waisted things at the moment that when I don't wear high-waisted jeans, I don't really want my belly out and I quite like the look of layering and so I only had one sort of tight plain t-shirt to go underneath all my other t-shirts so I wanted to get another one um, this isn't exactly the same but I really like the feel of this it's really good quality and it's nice and thick and it just looks like your bog standard tank top it's really, really soft and it was in the sale for £3.99 so you can't really go wrong next thing that I got and I've actually got this in white so I thought I would get this in grey and white stripes of course, I love stripes, I had to get it. High neck and long sleeves. And then the last thing, it's slightly different for me, kind of, not really. Mm. I got the sale for $14.99 and it's this jumper and it's ooba dooba dooba dooba. Is that even a word? Ooba dooba, super duper, soft, got cute little sort of short sleeves. I love jumpers that have kind of like capped or short sleeves or three quarter length sleeves and I kind of really like that look and I think it kind of quite suits me I think it's quite flattering on a lot of body shapes so I thought this was sweet so yeah that's a little mini haul for you guys and a little sneaky look into what's generally in my day-to-day -day bag let me know what else you want to see any video ideas any quick little videos like this that you'd like me to do quite fun to film when I haven't really been planning on filming but I feel like filming so I can just quickly set up and chat to you guys but that's it i'm gonna stop nattering on now and i will see you in my next video bye